What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 26 of our Matplotlib tutorial series. In this part, in the next few videos, what we're going to be talking about is base map. And what base map is, is it's a way for us to plot geographically using Matplotlib and typical Matplotlib syntax. So what we need first is to actually acquire base map. And so in order to do that, what you want to do is head to matplotlib.org slash base map. And that'll take you here. So it's kind of like an extension to matplotlib, but you just, you don't have it by default. So once you come here, go ahead and go to the download. And then you'll want to head to the Windows installers here. And basically the source code too is here. And click on the latest version. Now the problem with this is they do have executables for Windows users. But the last executable is for Python 3.3. I'm using 3.4 and actually 3.5 is available. So uh, they're clearly not getting updated for whatever reason, but the source code is here. So you can click on this and then download the source. I don't need the source because I've already downloaded it, but that's how you would get it. From there, what you will need is something like 7-zip. So 7-zip is like 7-zip. I'll just bring up an example of that really quick. Um, yeah, so head to like 7-zip.org if you don't have 7-zip to install this way. And then I install, or I all my files download to, you know, my username and then downloads. So then what you can do is you can open up a command window uh, to that location. So mine would be downloads. And um, let's see, I'm trying to make my font a little bigger for everyone. I think that'll do. Yeah. So in the downloads, I have that base map uh, 1.0.7. So if I wanted to download that, well, first we have to actually extract that. So... Uh, I've got two versions of it here. You were first we'll pay attention to this one because this is what, what we just downloaded. The other is a wheel. We'll get to that. So to use to download via this option, you can right click 7-zip extract here. That'll take a moment and it extracts into this distribution folder. And then you get this base map tar file again, 7-zip extract here. That'll be fine. And you should get this folder in here. You have a setup.py. So let's go back one file into here hold down shift right click open command window here and now we're in it and we use that setup.py so what we will do is either python setup.py install but it might say python's not a uh not found um so what you could do is you might if that happens you can go c colon slash python 34 and then python setup.py install now it still may be the case this doesn't work out for you so the next way you can install base map is using the wheel file and so to get there let me find the link here uh, if i forget someone remind me and i'll post the link in the description uh, of this uh, the video and uh, that is this website here this is just the unofficial binaries for a bunch of python modules uh, and what we're looking for is base map so we can just control f base map there it is, click it, come down here, and then choose your version. So I'm on 3.4, and uh, so I want 3.4, and then I have an AMD 64 because I'm on 64-bit um, version of Python. Now, a lot of people confuse their operating system with their version of Python. You can have a 64-bit operating system, but you still probably have 32-bit Python. The only time you have 64-bit Python is if you purposely tried to download 64-bit Python. To find out, you can just type in either Python or the full path to Python like this, and then read the very top. I have 64-bit. It literally says 64-bit. If yours says 32-bit, you have 32-bit. Anyway, download the one that's applicable to you. So either it'll be probably, if you're using 3.4, it would be either this one or this one. Download that. Once you have that downloaded, we head back to our my downloads directory. That will give you this .wheel file. Now what you would do is we want to open up a command window here. So I'm going to right click with holding shift, right click downloads, open a command window here. And then again, you would do the same thing as before. You would, well actually not the same thing, but C colon slash uh, Python 34 scripts pip. You might get away with just saying pip, uh, but I don't, I have multiple versions of Python. So pip install, and then we want to make sure we get the wheel. So base map, that's the tar.gz. This is the wheel. You'd hit enter there. It would unpack the wheel, install the wheel, and all this kind of fun, uh, fancy stuff. At the end of all of this, what you should be able to do is open up a Python script. I'm going to move all this out of the way now. Open up a Python script and uh, do the following. You should be able to say from MPL underscore toolkits dot basemap import capital B 
base map. So let's save and run that, make sure that works. And as long as you don't get an error here, that worked. So let's go ahead and show like a really quick basic example of bringing up a, a map. So we're going to go import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And then what we're going to say is m for our map equals base map. And then in here, uh, well, you might not, I think we need a projection. Let's try it without a projection though. Yeah. Well, let's keep going then. And then let's say plt.show. Let's see if we get a map. No, we don't get a map. So we'll have, we have to specify projection here. This is the only thing that should be required to a base map. So projection equals, and this is mill. This is short for a Miller projection. We'll talk a little bit about those in a second, but let's first bring this up. Okay, so what the projection gives us is basically this is just the Miller projection, but we actually we have to still draw like a few things to this graph to make anything kind of pop up. So what we'll say is M dot draw coastlines and uh, let's try it with just draw coastlines then in that case. There we go. So now we actually have something on our graph and this is just a, it's a Miller projection. Like I said, we'll, we'll talk about that in just a moment. But now we've got the graph, we've got clearly, this is a map and we've got, you know, our continents and stuff on here. So uh, with draw coastlines, we could add some other stuff like M dot fill continents. So this will change the continents to be like a different color than like the rest of the stuff. So let's just run that real quick. So this is the default color, but you can pass other colors in here to color them pretty much whatever you want. But I just want to show uh, that quick example. Now let's head to matplotlive.org slash base map. Um, wait for that to load. It's taking a while. For some reason, matplotlib, I think I mentioned this earlier, like a lot of times it just doesn't load for me or it'll take a long time. But there are a bunch of projection options with uh, matplotlib because uh, depending on like what your goals are with graphs or with like geographic graphs and maps, you might have different things because you have to understand the the world is is a sphere, but most maps are like a flat 2D square, right? Uh, and the world is not a flat 2D square. Like if you went and bought like a, a big poster that was a map and then you bought like a big, I don't know, exercise ball and you tried to like wrap that poster around the exercise ball, you it would result pretty poorly in a globe, right? Uh, because it's distorted whenever you have something up on like a two, like when you have a sphere that's represented in a 2D kind of square representation. So something's always distorted. Usually uh, what's gonna happen is either there's distortion from the left to the right or more, most common up and down distortion. So the stuff at the top or the bottom is more distorted. So uh, let's close out of this and look at base map here. Let's click on the introduction um, let's get to, I'm looking for our, uh, setting up the map. There we go. So these are all the possible projections. So the one that we're using is Miller, but there's a bunch, like we can just kind of click a bunch of these just to kind of get an idea of a bunch of the, let's just click a few random ones here. Okay. So this is one, this is the one we're using. So that's Miller. And then you've got stuff that it's like, you know, to show, like if you were really looking to show like just this stuff up here, like this specific area, this is also, um, you can read like the descriptions of azimuthal like up here as far as like what the point of that one is. But then you've got this and um, so yeah, this would be like as, you know, the earth from a satellite and like you can use this and you can actually specify like how far that satellite would be and you can kind of zoom in or out on the earth. That's another example. Here's another one where clearly this is quite distorted. <laughs> and then you've got like stuff like this where there's a little less uh, distortion going on, but clearly it's still slightly distorted and, and so on. So there's a lot of different ways that we can go about uh, visualizing um, the world basically. We'll just kind of stick with this Miller projection, but just know that these other projections exist. <laughs> you can do all, all kinds of different projections, uh, but we'll stick with the Miller one. So anyways, uh, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll kind of start talking about the options that are available to us with base map and all that. If you have any questions or comments up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.